My name is Jeremy. I'm in year one. Tented, um, friendly, um, intelligent. I like playing games. That's my favorite thing to do. I had cataracts and um, I had to go to the doctor. He replaced the cataracts in my eyes with plastic ones. So I can't see as well. It was super hard um, for me to play, play handball because I can't see as well. If I can't see the ball, how am I going to hit it? I am positive, funny, depending on which friend. One of them would probably say I'm crazy. If I was somebody that went suddenly blind, then you kind of notice, but it's just slowly grown in. No one could tell that I have a vision impairment, but unless I use my cane, and I get the question a lot of what can you see? It's kind of really hard to answer because I don't know what you see. They go, you know, how do you move around? But I just do it. If anything, my vision's just going to get worse. I could be about fully blind when I'm about 50. Well, I wouldn't mind being on a show called Time and Away. I don't know if you've heard of it. My name is Tom Belshaw and I am 11. I like to go for walks in the night and hunt spiders. I have retinitis pigmentosa. I don't really know what it means. It's just like tunnel vision. I can mainly see just in front of me. I have a pet snake. Her name is Shilace. Three <laughs> words that describe me. is smart, uh, good at doing braille, and good at bushwalking. The three words that best describe me is probably chilled, out there. I like to let people know who I am. Somewhat shy when I first meet people. Oh, what I hope people would say about me is bubbly and happy and hopefully good singer, not trying to be vain, is that the word, vain? The three words that best describe me are kind, clever and daring. If I could have any three things, there would probably be no problems at school and um, everyone understanding how my vision works. Why I have um, white hair and um, light skin and not much pigment in my eyes. My eye condition is ocular albinism. Ocular cutaneous albinism. But my eyes just jiggle. My eyes, they move back and forth sometimes, like uncontrollably. And sometimes people were like, why are your eyes shaking? It's kind of creepy. And I find that kind of hard because it's like, um, I have to explain to them, this is me, this is who I am, deal with it, or just go away. Well, if people make comments about me, if they're really annoying or upsetting, then I just sort of say, I sort of say, please don't do that again or anything. I wear a hat in the classroom to block the glare from the lights. Something I would want to invent that would make my life easier would probably be a braille phone. I'd invent a phone that when you call somebody, um, it paid you money back. Something that I can actually like scan the piece of paper and then enlarge it. Like those photocopiers that you put it down, but like portable, carry it along into the restaurant and just quickly scan the menu. When I leave school, I would like to work at a zoo. I really want to become a Paralympian and also an athletics teacher. I was quite into being a social worker, but then got the idea of architecture, so that sort of took over. Architecture is very visual. That's sort of a bit of a tricky path. I really want to go to NYU. Scientist. You know that person that does the atom things and all that? It's very hard to do atom things and it's very good um, being able to handle them. There is lots of advantages. But there's definitely advantages and privileges. 
You get to have a cane. You get to wear glasses. Some people say that's not that good, but I think it's really good. Sometimes if you have glasses, you, you're, you're sometimes a bit smarter. You get to learn braille. I would look at the positives, not the negatives. I can just hear, smell, taste and feel a lot more than people with just no vision loss. It's like good for having challenges. It's good, it's um, an advantage to have the hardest challenge. I have a bit more power than other students. I might be able to get a guide dog. Do you ever have any troubles or any problems communicate them? If I had the choice to change myself, I wouldn't. I'd change seeing, seeing things. Now I can't see the ball as well and then, then it's very hard to play, you know? I actually wouldn't change anything about myself. If I could change one thing about myself, it would be better vision. I don't think I really would want to change because being unique isn't a crime, it's an honour. Don't change just because someone else wants you to. Try and have fun doing everything. Don't complain. Listen to your mum, dad. Don't always run like, next to me because I might not see you and I might bang into you. What would you want to be doing once you leave school? Going on holiday. <laughs> <laughs>